incredible day that Ward 7 is getting a new sit-down restaurant. And let me just tell you, it's the third AAPI sit-down restaurant in Ward 7. So I'm very excited with that. Um, I want to thank Oi Shang Sila for opening this restaurant. He is the true American dream story. He, like my parents, were immigrants and grew up to become a business entrepreneur. And now he has opened five restaurants, yeah. four of which are in DC, and each of them I have eaten at. <laughs> um, I also want to thank Director Deborah Carroll for being here and working with us. She is a great and incredible partner. But I also want to introduce my boss, Mayor Muriel Bowser, someone who has supported the AAPI community through and through. She has, back in September, been to the Action Forum that we hosted, and she spoke, and she understands the needs of our community. So let's continue working and progressing for the District of Columbia. Thank you so much, Mayor Bowser. It's Scissors and Shovels Day in the District of Columbia. And so that means we have been to four wards today and we have cut the, broken the ground, cut the ribbon, used the sledgehammer, poured some cement, and we have created and strengthened pathways to the middle class for residents of the District of Columbia. So this morning we got started in Ward 2 and Uber decided they were going to make their East Coast headquarters right here in Washington, D.C. Then we went to Ward 6 at the Phyllis Wheatley YWCA where we invested in keeping 90 units affordable for women in transition right in Shaw. And then we went to Ward 7, and we focused on 36 new units on Southern Avenue and 12 units of permanent supportive housing to make sure people in transition would have affordable places to live as well as services so that they would be on a pathway to the middle class. Then we went to Ward 8 in Archer Park. And Archer Park is going to be 170 units of affordable housing, 78 units of new homes for home ownership opportunities. Then we stayed in Ward 8 and we went to a natural juice bar on Martin Luther King Avenue. And you know what that business owner told me? She's hiring nine D.C. residents. And guess where she got them? T-O-E-S. Guess what program they came out of? S-Y-E-P. And guess how old they are? 22 to 24 year old. So you ask me why I fight? That's why I fight, because I went down to the council and I said, we need a thousand jobs for 22 to 24 year olds. Can you believe some people didn't want to give them to them? But I fought on and you fought with me, Alexander. And that's how we were able to get young people and jobs over the summer. A business owner opened on Martin Luther King Avenue and nine DC residents employed that came out of that program. That's why we do what we do. Where else did I go today? I feel like I missed something. Oh, how could I forget? We just left Kenilworth Park, a project nine years in the making. Council member Yvette Alexander's persistence and vision got us to this point. And I think the residents of Kenilworth are deserving of a great recreation center, don't you? 17,000 square feet, fitness center, boxing, and an outdoor pool, and it will deliver in 2017. So now this brings us to this wonderful, wonderful new development. How many people live here, Scotty? 
We have 376 Ward 7 residents living here, and we are bringing quality retail as well. So that's what we've been doing at Scissors and Shovels Day in Washington, D.C. And I'm very proud to celebrate the opening of Salad Thai, a restaurant that was born and raised here in Washington, D.C., and whose success has allowed it to expand to multiple corners in the districts since 1987. I know a lot about this concept. I know a lot about the folks who built this building or is bringing quality retail to Ward 7, because I have one just like it in Ward 4 uh, <laughs> over the Petworth Metro Station. And I got to tell you, the residents of Petworth love it, and so will the residents of Ward 7. <laughs> I want to applaud the owners of Salatai. I want to thank the, the new staff here at Salad Thai who has just given me a rundown of the menu. Uh, and I want everybody to stay tuned because when we have one retailer go in, That's one right. sit down restaurant go in, when council member Alexander and I go to these conferences and talk about Ward 7, we'll say there are already people here who are getting it done and they will come too. I was proud uh, recently with Council Member Alexander to get over the hump, another very important project for Ward 7, and that's the development of Skyland. You know, that project has been through four mayors, $60 million. And uh, this year, I think we got over the final hurdle uh, to make sure that the, the lease that was signed last year actually has the full force um, to go forward. You've seen some changes. That's going to bring more retail. That's going to bring more jobs. And that's exactly what we need. Um, I want to acknowledge my staff, if you would bear with me for a moment, because they've been working really hard on Scissors and Shovels Day. So would the Mayor's Office of Community Affairs come to the front, directed by Sharon Hines? Uh, you heard from the director of our Office of Asian and Pacific Islander Affairs and all of our community affairs offices, LGBTQ affairs coming up. Who else is here? The Women's Policy is here, Serve DC is here, Veterans Affairs, African American Affairs, uh, and our mokers. Who knows what a moker is? <laughs> mokers are my representatives in each of the wards. Uh, and so when you see a, a moker, that means you should work them really hard. <laughs> and after they finish one thing, you give them something else to do because they love to work hard, right, Wendo? Right. <laughs> so with, with you, Council Member Alexander, yes, Ward 7 mokers, uh, Ward 8 mokers, all, all citywide, everybody's here, good. Uh, because they all pitch in and help each other when they're big events. Come on, Rahman, this is our African American Affairs Director, Rahman Brunch. And I, uh, come on, come on, Duggar, get up here. And I also want to recognize your Deputy Mayor and my Deputy Mayor for greater economic opportunity, Courtney Snowden. And a fellow Ward 7 resident, uh, Courtney's job is to work with DOES, Small Business Affairs, African American Affairs, Fatherhood, Men and Boys, and all of the agencies to make sure we're re leveraging every single dollar that we spend in the District of Columbia to make right, make right, make good on the promises we've made. Make level the investments across this District of Columbia so Ward 7 gets its fair share and that's the job of the deputy mayor. Now today she has a, an additional job, and that job was to ride around with me. So I have a program, it's called Ride Along with the Mayor. And that means some of the directors, they spend the whole day with me so that they can see what mayor work is like. Run along with me, okay. And I can see what director life is like. Uh, and and with, the, with these many hours that we get to spend together, I get a lot of fresh ideas. Now, one thing you should know about our, our administration, we're about fresh ideas and getting things done, being transparent and delivering on our promises. Uh, so I want to invite Council Member Alexander to come up and greet, and let's celebrate her, because she's been working really hard on this. When Mary 
video, when the mayor first won the election, her theme song was, this girl is on fire. I don't know what that means. <laughs> hello, Ward 7. And hello, district government employees, because my neighbor, I, I have personal responsibility because if you're working at DOES, you are my constituent. I take that personally. I have to give a shout out. I see him over there, Charles Jones. Uh, who does a wonderful job at DOES Project Empowerment. That's my neighbor. He lives in D.C. and works in D.C. But I just have to thank um, the team of Donatelli and Blue Sky um, because, thank you, when they built this building here on this corner, DOES was a start, but when they built this building, it took this neighborhood transformed. It's a new attitude now in downtown Ward 7. And that is going to continue to happen as we grow. I have been bugging them, what are you going to put in this retail storefront? And when are you going to put it there? But their promise was good. Their promise was good. And this is only the beginning because there's so much more to come. I'm going to be really brief, but I'm so excited that we have our second, and I have to give Denny's a shout out, that was our first. But I want to thank everyone for investing in Ward 7, for believing in Ward 7, and for helping us grow here in Ward 7. It isn't easy, but we're up to the task. And I have to quote Courtney Snowden, our deputy mayor. Um, we're tweeting back and forth, and I said, Courtney, is the food good here in Salatai? And I'm glad that Kenilworth is going to open because we're going to have to work out some of this food that we're eating over here. But I asked her, was the food good over here? And I'm going to end on this because she summed it up. She said, yeah, it's just as good as all the other Salatai's in the city, but it's better because it's close to my home. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm going to be hosting some happy hours but I can't handle all of you. I can't handle First round on me. No. So let me, let me add my thanks to Donatelli Development and Blue Sky Development. Let everybody see you guys give a wave. Let me recognize our ANC commissioners who are here, Antoine Holmes, Claude McKay, Justin Linney, and Elizabeth Travers. Where are our commissioners? Give them a big round of applause. And Dorothy, right in front of me, and um, Maxine Nightingale, I understand, is here. And Ebony Rose Thompson, I also understand, is here. So give a big hand. There she is. Thank you, Ebony Rose, for being here uh, as well. And so to Oi and all of the Salatai family, where's Oi? Oi. Right here. Come on up, Oi. Let's congratulate Oi and thank you for your investment. And David is right. One way that we can develop and what we have seen has been very success successful are restaurants, grocers, small grocers who have been successful in one neighborhood and they look for other opportunities across the city. Um, so all the while, we, we, we look at national retailers too, we look at national restaurants too, but it's been the guys like Salatai and Yes Market who have started one place and go to other places. And that is a key part um, to our economic diversity in the city, and we want to thank you. So let's cut a ribbon.